San Diego police say one of their own, a sergeant, is expected to survive after being shot in Forest Ranch. Police shot and killed the suspect. Now we want to show you where this all happened. It was around midnight at the Forest Commons Town Center near Craftsman Way. We do have team coverage this morning with crews at the shopping center and also at Scripps La Jolla. So let's get right to ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell. She's live at the scene where the shooting happened. Danny, in just the last few minutes, You've been able to get closer to where all of this went down. What kind of perspective does that give you on what played out overnight? Good morning, Jared and Melissa. Yes, we were able to drive in closer to this parking lot where the shooting happened outside of the Ralph. So let me go ahead and step out of the way and show it to you now. As you can see, there are still San Diego police is still on scene. We're also told that the sheriff's office is still on scene somewhere. But for now, you can just see San Diego police. Their cars are right there in front of the Ralph's area. And this shooting happened. So what happened was is when the officer um, responded to a call, they saw that the suspect was inside the Ralph's, but then they met with the suspect outside here in this parking lot that you're staring at right now and he was next to his car when police began uh, when, the, when the shooting ensued and the sh they were able to take down the suspect he had he did die at the hospital but the, sh the sergeant that was shot we know that he was shot at least one time in his upper body area and he is currently in the ICU being treated for that uh, gunshot wound and he is stable now multiple officers um, like we say they, they fired at the suspect and we saw that the San Diego police tweeted about this um, hours ago. And so we know that it happened just before midnight. And when we spoke to the uh, police chief, he told us that this, um, off this sergeant is the third officer to be shot in the last 12 months. And he got very emotional when he was talking about the growing frequency of this happening to his officers. But he also spoke about how proud he was of how they responded. Have a listen. Multiple officers from from our command for, that has this area that were were on scene when this occurred. Um, you know, this is a very dangerous situation. Multiple rounds being fired at officers, and so you know, you know the officers did a phenomenal job tonight. Um, you know, obviously we have a sergeant in the hospital that makes me emotional, but the officers did an amazing job tonight. And we have been told that this shopping center is going to be closed until this investigation has ended. Live at Forest Ranch, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Danny. Let's get out now to ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes. She's live at Scripps La Jolla, the hospital where the sergeant was taken after being shot. Nate. Yeah, Jared, Mel, good morning. So as you mentioned, we are here at Scripps La Jolla. You can actually see the emergency room just behind me. That is where the sergeant was brought here a few hours ago. From what we know right now, he is in the ICU. His wife is by his side and surgery is scheduled for later on this morning. Now, we're told he is stable but listed in serious condition. He was actually hit in his upper body. So that is all the details that we know as of right now. But we are, no, we are the SDPD says, Says that they are not releasing the sergeant's name at this time, but Chief Nislight say that, says that he is a six-year veteran. He is also a member of the SWAT unit. Now, Chief Nislight also commended his officers for their quick response to the scene, uh, and you can actually see some officer, SDPD officers here in the parking lot as well. They're also parked along on the side here of the entrance to the emergency room. Now, I saw actually one of the officers walking in to the emergency room just around four o'clock this morning. So there is a presence out here this morning. Now, Chief David Nislight is also expected to make his way here to the hospital later this morning. And of course, we will try to check in with him as well for any updates. I also sent a message to the PI of uh, the uh, SDPD PIO seeing if there was any updates on the sergeant's condition within the last few hours. So we're still waiting on that as well. But any updates that we get. Of course, we will bring that to you live in La Jolla. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.